so what I thought I'd do is go through pigeon stretch with you guys today. You'd be going into the stretch from your box position, the point kneeling, to come down onto your hands and your knees. Now your shoulders are relaxed down from your ears. You gently pushed away from the chest to switch on the back and the chest muscles here. We make sure we switch on the T-zone and the knees are aligned underneath the hips. Now keeping the pelvis quite level and the T-zone working, you're going to lengthen out one leg behind you. Now you're going to cross this leg over the supporting ankle or heel of the opposite leg. As you use your chest muscles, exhale, push away from the ground through the palms and slide this leg back. Now as you slide yourself back, you could be coming down onto a straight shin. This bottom leg may also slightly drift to the side and you could be more onto the side of the shin itself or the calf muscle. And as you lower yourself down, you should be able to bend your forearms, cross them over and rest the forehead down on the back of the palms. Equally, if you want to limit your stretch, you could bend your back knee, place it onto the mat itself, relax that back foot. And this could be how you limit your stretch if you're finding your hips are quite tight. For some of you, you may be able to come down fully and rest the weight down on this bottom shin. Take a deep breath in and let the upper body round forwards over the knee. On an exhale, just let the weight of the body sink to open up the side of the hip and start to stretch the side of the hip itself and the glute. Breathe in and out nice and deeply. If you found that you are in a little bit of discomfort within that bottom hip joint, or it's quite painful, this amount of weight pressing down onto the hip might be causing some compression, and you might want to come out of this, and then go into your PNF figure four glute stretch lying on your back instead, and I have a video of that online. You're going to hold this stretch, counting your breath for up to 10 deep inhales and exhales, utilizing your T-zone to support the weight of the lower back, and really letting the side of the hip the glute and the piriformis stretch. Once you've had enough, you'll unfold the arms, bring the palms back to the mat, and then gently pull yourself back on into the box. And then you can repeat sides. Now this knee that you lower yourself down onto, or the shin, is the dial into the glutes itself. So if I show you from a different point, when I bring myself down, into my pigeon stretch as I slide myself back. I want to make sure I have enough space. This knee could turn out slightly. And you see I'm no longer on a straight shin, I'm now more at a, uh, it, oh, I'm going to say more like 30 degrees through that knee angle itself. So this knee angle will um, promote a deeper opening of your glutes and it's very intense. So this is how you can alter your pigeon. Now the further at 90 degrees this shin angle is, the deeper the stretch will be. So if I show you from this side, which is my most mobile hip at the moment, coming down into 90 within the shin itself is a really deep opening at the side of the hip and the glute. It promotes a lot of stress on that posterior hip joint. So if you found that this is a particularly uncomfortable stretch, don't try and move this shin further up to 90. You want your stretching to be relaxed. But in saying that, if you found that your stretch, you are not coming down onto a straight shin, don't worry about that, that's fine. Just let the body open up naturally and it will do what it wants to do. Equally, if you find you're down in this pigeon stretch here and you found that the weight on this bottom hip joint is very, very uncomfortable and painful, you may be dumping the weight of your body down and compressing the nerves within the hip joint, and that's not a good thing. So maybe swap, swap, swap out your pigeon for say, your lying on your back supine figure four glute stretch, or you could do a standing glute stretch, but this one may not be for you and it isn't for everybody. Runners particularly like it, but I'd say anybody that is seated for a large amount of, in their day finds that their hip tightness is quite restricted and pigeon is not for them. So whatever you do, make sure you do it safe and effectively. Um, I'll see you next week. Have a good week. Bye.